Our opponent's on the play. It's a little slow, but I think we can catch up. So, yeah, we're going to roll with this one. We get to ramp a little bit if we need to. So, let's see if it gets us there. On to Zipra Mistland. Alright. Uh, I mean, we still kind of get to play it, right? Because of uh, Restoration. So, it works out despite not having the green source. So, we're going to probably go like this, I would think. And discard that. We get to play the Emperor. Obviously, having a solid 2-drop would have been nice there. Just so we can get in the extra attack. But... You know, sometimes things do not always go your way. Our opponent foretells, so we're playing against angels. Alright, fair enough. Another ranger class. Not the best block, but we are going to get to curve. So, I am okay with that. <clears throat> Let's see. Going ahead. So, it could be behold, or it could be... If we still end up going here. And playing a tap land or wandering emperor. I think we're just go wandering emperor and send it back. They're gonna behold, fair enough. We could wandering emperor right now. I don't know if that's correct though, because we may also oh, keep the ready charm that I think about it. Okay, fair. <clears throat> but we may also wandering emperor minus, right? Depending on what our opponent does. So we can always lantern flare, push comes a shove to kill it. So we're not in the worst shape. I think we're fine taking the two here, see what our opponent's subsequent play is. Probably just gonna minus, honestly. Let's see here. Yeah, I think we're going to play that. All right, we have the counter spell. Fair. Fair enough. Fair enough opponent. All right, two creatures we now we can kill Jada as well. Uh, a little awkward that we are missing the green here. So if we go here, we can fire up the den and swing. Are we okay with that? I think we just go here and then attack for two. And then let's just Lantern Flare. We are going to do it on their turn though. I think that's correct. Maybe, well, they could bounce. So maybe we should have done it while they were tapped out. We'll end up seeing what they do. We could also, so let's, uh, land for this X is a target creature, X is the number of creatures you control, yeah, let's just do it this way, it's two, push comes to shove, I guess, they could bounce, something, alright, cool. I think that works out well. We can also leave a faithful happens if we need to, but I think I kind of like the idea of that being a, a good kind of when they go to double block. Hmm, opponent attacking. Interesting. Interesting. All right. Emperor, not too shabby. Let's go to combat. Definitely getting punished there for not quite having the. Let's see if they have another uh fair enough fair enough opponent our opponent's got the goods man we got the goods but we do have a board that can continue to grow so i mean what we're we gonna do right plenish angel okay we can kind of fight that all right let's deny the Let's deny the, uh, the life gain, right? We got a decent attack next turn as well. Probably going to fire off the den and swing. Man, it definitely hurting not having the, uh, the green source. I'll tell you what. 
Trigger, trigger, trigger. So let's see how our opponent blocks. No, I'm okay with that. Down to 13. We have a board still. They're going to get to draw. They have more lands than us, so that is an issue, but we can continue to go to wide on them, right? Depending on what they do, we can fire off the other den. All right, that angel is a bit of an issue. Ooh. All right, let's just do that. I think that's pretty safe. Triggers, these get replaced, so it's fine. And we keep going wide on them. They're gonna ganja. That's a good one. That is a good one. That was definitely not completely on my radar. So I'll take them down to 10. And then we just need a green source. Or a rabble rousing. <laughs> that works too. That works too. Uh, let's get... I think I like Zariel. Let's attack triggers boom play Zariel you plus her no unfortunately it's gonna be after the fact dead. which is a bit of a bummer swift and righteous but that does put us in a pretty good spot I guess because of that it probably would have been better to do uh chariot I was wondering if we can activate her or not but I mean next turn I think we're good right because we just plus and swing for the fences so despite missing a color Kind of here. Opponent, all right. I let's make a devil. Yeah, I guess making a devil is correct. Reinforcements will drive them back. And we got there. Yes, missing a color. Greetings, happy friends, and welcome back to the MTG Struggle Bus, where I struggle more playing Magic, so you don't have to. Apparently, it's on the Struggle Bus hard. If making a ton of tokens is your jam, you may have come to the right place. We're playing Naya Tokens, capitalizing on Incandescent Arya to uh, kind of essentially act as a pseudo board wipe, as well as by invitation only, where hopefully we have more creatures than our opponent, we can wipe their board by keeping some of ours. Everything else makes a bunch of tokens to get in there, including a bunch of planeswalkers and uh, rabble rousing. So uh, yeah, that'll do it. That's the deck. Go super wide and get in there. Uh, we are purposely not running Jetmere, but I do obviously think it can go in here, but maybe even take the place of Elspeth, probably. Um, but you know, hey, I struggle, so you guys don't have to. That being said, want to give a shout out to Faith Felice. Faith, thank you so much, my friend, for riding the struggle bus with us. I appreciate you. You rock. And uh, this uh, Nine Tokens deck is for you. All right, this feels like a pretty controly hand since we have a board wipe. So we're just going to keep this one and hope for the long game, my friends. See if we can get there. Seems pretty reasonable. Rousing. That's not too bad either. I like that. Gives us a little bit of late game action that we can work towards, right? Slow roll, go something like rousing into invitation. All right, our opponent looks to be off to a slow start themselves. No need to try to kill that. Once again, we have the invitation, so we're probably just gonna wait to do that. Do so black white enchantments maybe all right fair enough uh, let's see here yeah may end up just minusing right minus and blocking we'll see they do get to draw a card off of the wedding announcement but that does allow us to potentially get an attack in and start getting Rabble Rouser going. Alright, they're going to make us discard. Fair enough, opponent. We're going to discard... Uh, yeah, we need... I think this is fine. We're going to attack. Let's go ahead and here. And... Minus 
here. Get the block. Let your blade do Let's see if they talking. burn a spell here. I don't think they're going to. Could be also a rebirth deck, right? So or a sister's call. So maybe we should have. Uh... Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, opponent. Ooh, nice. Uh, so the question is, do we rouse here? Kind of like the idea of Arlen's hat. They have discard, so I may actually hold on to land. Eh, rousing does let us get a bunch of creatures. In, or, well, I guess this time it's only one. So maybe it should be Arlen. Right? Kind of don't hate that. It gives us a second Planeswalker as well. Keep this card in hand. Yeah, I think that's exactly what we're going to do. I think we're going to... Minus make two wolves. And then I'm halfway tempted to make another dude, but I think we're gonna just plus here and get in. Remember your training. Then once again, hold on to uh land if we need to discard. Are we? Are we though? Because the block is interesting. Interesting. I hmm. So I feel like they're gonna get it back. So let's hold on to the land here. Though rousing will allow us to go very wide very quickly. Opponent is going to, what is this dude, what? And there's the battlefield return target creature card with mana value two or less. Oh, nice. Nice opponent. But you can't attack or block for as long as you control. Okay, interesting. Interesting. So let's see what we're gonna end up doing here. So we have some options for sure. Rousing is going to allow us to make three dudes, then play Invitate. Well, we can't do that, but... We are going to be in a position where we have more... Ooh. Ooh. That is tempting. This is very tempting. So let's go... Here... Follow the enemy's scent. They're close. So let's just go. Wait, what just happened? Oh, she's not on the nightbound side. That's what it is. Okay, derp. Uh, let's minus make a dude. He gets a counter. Keep watch for intruders. And then I'm halfway tempted to attack, right? Because then they all, well, they're all two twos. So we kind of trade. This guy can't block. It's actually a little on the tempting side, but I think we just go wide here. Go here, zero. Right? We could attack with everything. I think we attack next turn. Right? And maybe I'm being too cute. So let's see, next turn we play Rob Rousing. One, two, three, four, five. We make five dudes. We can well we can't do both. Lantern Flare also is gonna be a thing here. So let's see. I think we are just gonna plus Zarel. Can't minus again, unfortunately. Okay, alright. I like it. I like it. They're gonna get land. Huh. This is interesting. This is very interesting. I like what they got going on here. I think we are just going to rouse because we're going to play the card for free. So plus, minus, minus, or plus zero. So they're looking. They have access to an absence. Oh, they do have a land in hand. No attacks from the opponent. Interesting. With rousing, we are going to be able to go wider than them. This only kills... Well, it kills two things. So we can kill two things, rouse the other. But let's go plus. Attack when they're most vulnerable. And then let's... Make another dude. Let your then blade do the talking. Plus. Let your fury instill fear. Wait, no, no, no. Cancel, cancel. Wrong one. Wrong one. Oops. Cancel. That's... I, I meant rousing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Do I not get the cancel button? 
Oh no! <laughs> oh, that's so bad! That's so bad. That's 100% not what I wanted to do. Oh no! Alright, uh, I guess we try to wipe the board, so four. Oh, that's super awkward. Super awkward. One, two, three, four. Lol, that's so funny. That is like so not what I wanted to do. <laughs> oh well. Cause then I even like didn't zero her there. So we could have kept a samurai. Oh man, that's so funny. What a punt. We call it the struggle bus for a reason. I guess I just saw five and thought, you know, like why not? Me hook for three, yeah, Roger. So we have like no kind of good attacks right now. That's so funny. Uh, I can't even minus her. <laughs> so we're just gonna rouse. Yep. It's gonna be a big devil. We're gonna make one big devil, my friends. One big devil. So let's do this correctly. Plus. Then the zero. Then. Into the fray. Plus. <laughs> and then rouse. All right, let's see what we get. Oh, that's so bad. Uh, Charm or Adeline? I kind of like Charm, actually. I think we keep the Charm. Oh, man, that's too funny. All right, so we're going to minus, then plus. Minus, minus, plus, and get in there. All right, we got there. Whew. I'm pretty sure, right? I mean, they have a meat hook. And they have an active wedding festival. But we also have Lantern Flare. So this makes two dudes. This makes a third. So we're going to have four dudes plus them get in their trigger. And then give it a plus. Okay. Nice. That's a big boy. Nice. Super cool opponent. I like it. I like it. And it has lifesteal. So... Uh, oh no, we're okay, we're okay. We're okay, because this is going to make four dudes, it's going to make eight, and then we can Lantern Flare it before it blocks, so we're good, we got this. Oh man, that's too funny. That is too funny. Okay, so. Minus. <laughs> Let's try not to mess this up. Minus. Oh, that's too funny. Plus... Right. Rain hellfire on them. Go to combat. Attack. Rousing will trigger. Lantern flare. We have eight dudes. Ping that. Boom. And then there we go. <laughs> oh man, that's too funny. Uh, a little awkward, but uh, I think we can roll with it just because we have the incandescence to potentially uh, kind of get us there. We shall see how it plays out. All right. Uh, I think we just keep playing our tap lands till we identify what our points got going on here. Cover double red now. Ooh, perfect timing here. Perfect timing. This is our green, so let's see here. Double red. I think we really need double green it's probably just well we're gonna go grab a planes anyway so let's just go this way and we'll play ganjo and then we can go wandering emperor end of turn right uh wandering emperor end of turn and then rabble rousing sounds pretty good looks like our point on mono red fair enough elspeth i like that uh Man, there's really... I guess we just ramp? Yeah, we need the double white. So pitch that, get that back, play here, and send it back. Uh, letting it flip in the night wasn't the best, right? Because then our essence, that's fine. Alright, they're gonna charge in there, get some treasures. Mm, let's, let's go ahead and kill that. Anyone who harms my people must contend with me. 
get rid of that guy. They get these treasures. Then, ooh, another Gonzo is kind of sweet. Fortunately, the way it played out, we didn't get the chance to attack this turn. Oh, wait. Can we give her Flying First Strike Life Lake Vigilance and put a counter? We also play her Minus. Uh, we can just straight up kill that as well. Let me think for a second. What's our best bet here? Uh, we are just going to... I guess we can Elspeth Minus. Right? Let's see what Elspeth Minus does for us. I won't let a few thugs threaten this city. May your peace uh, Adeline lights. seems pretty good. There's also a wedding announcement, but I think Adeline is going to be the more solid play, and we'll plus putting it on the vigilance. I, mean, I guess she has a shield counter, fight. so maybe that would be in consideration. So our opponent has a high chance of just dumping their hand here. All right, so we're definitely going to lose something here. Let's see which one they end up picking. Fair enough. Nice, nice, nice opponent. Super cool, super cool. So Elspeth is going to give Vigilance here. All right, so... Faithful Absence. Man, we have, like, a plethora of things we can do here. A plethora. Uh, let's go with Vigilance. Counter here Show plus what Vigilance. Right? Why does, why did, how does she already get Vigilance? So, lifelink or flying. Let's go flying. We could rouse to make a bunch of dudes making our, or we could just clear these two guys off the board right now. I think that's correct, honestly. And then we can leave up flare, right? If we do this, yeah, that's correct. So we wipe the board, right? And then we get in there. Boom. Trigger, trigger, trigger. Right? And then after everything's all said and done, we can lantern flare, but they're not going to give us the chance. Nice. Well, I mean, we can literally play everything in our hand minus... Uh, Incandescent, so we're gonna keep this one. Play Amir's call on one. Make sure we can hit. Yeah. I mean, I guess technically we could have waited. Uh, probably still gonna go Restoration, I think. Going up against the Angel deck. That's gonna be a tough one. Not going to lie. Um, so the question is, do we add a line or do we Restoration? I think we're gonna Restoration. Because we can pitch the ranger class where we can ramp. This is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. Right, let's go ahead and restoration. I don't think the ramp is going to be super relevant here. So we're going to discard ranger class, put that into play. And then hopefully leave up the wandering emperor to take out the righteous of the Valkyrie. This one's gonna be a short one, it looks like. Can't do much about that, unfortunately. Ditch that, put it back into play, get it in, go here, and then hold. As much as I'd like to play something, I think we're kind of a little too far on the back foot here. Right. Nice start from the opponent. So we're probably going to lose the Wandering Emperor after this, but I mean, there's really not much we can do, unfortunately. Our opponent really kind of had a solid curve out. So hopefully Emperor can take us to the Promised Land. Let's see where they put the counter at. I'm trying to think of what we want to kill. Is it Righteous Valkyrie or Youthful? Yeah, I guess we just take out the Youthful here. I'm home. I can't. Okay. Oh, that didn't work out nearly how I wanted it to. Why did it work out? Why did it do that? God. That's you really odd. I was hoping to be able to respond to that. So. What are we doing here? 
so... Hmm. Being one mana shy is a little awkward. You can add a line that makes a token. Right? Plus the wolf, it just dies. We can plus plus... Drop her and attack. <clears throat> and leveling doesn't let us play the iridescent. So let's see here. Let's go counter here and then strike attack faster, and see hard. if they bite the bullet. I'm trying to think of the, yeah, they don't. So I'm trying to think. Oh, I guess we have to do pull a trigger here, right? Ironically, yeah, it's super awkward that it didn't let us. Uh, all right, so let's just go here. We at least get that back. All right, so we're almost dead. And they're at a healthy life total. I think we're just stuck, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah. I think we're not going to have enough things. I'm trying to think of how. So next turn. We definitely need to do that so we didn't die. We're going to take five, six here, fall to two. Three mana, or six mana next turn. Okay. Okay. Unfortunately, we could have, you know, done a pretty good job with the incandescence, but... Eh. Yeah, I think we, I mean, we could draw. If we draw a pinpoint removal, that's not going to do it, unfortunately. Yeah, the untap is pretty darn good. Let's go here... Attack. Show them how we trigger, greet trigger. Uh, yeah, never mind. They got it. They got it. They got it. All right, we have a pretty solid curve, and we're on the play. Uh, we're gonna keep this one. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and lead off with Garden, just in case we draw one of our Ranger classes. We can still play it on two. If not, we'll go. Yep. Still hold. Uh, let's see. Need double red. Nice, nice. Our opponent's got going on so far. Uh, we still have our double white. Let's go here. And then probably Chariot, I think. Because then we can Elspeth, um, Chariot, or Adeline. I mean, luckily we get the uh, check for traps. All right. So what? They're taking Wandering Emperor here, I would think. Or Chariot. Yeah, take Chariot. Okay. So we Wandering Emperor. Fair enough, opponent. Fair enough, we are going to get a... Ooh, well, I mean, better lucky than good. I'm sorry, opponent. That's extremely frustrating when that happens. I won't lie. Uh, let's go here. Let's attack. See what our opponent does. And then we're just going to chariot. They're going to block. Fair enough. I mean, we've definitely been there before. Not going to lie. So, I mean, sometimes it's better lucky than good, right? Better lucky than good. Let's see what they end up doing here. They could potentially... Nope. They can meet hook for three? Yeah, they can meet hook for three if they want to. Um, question is, if we're going to Elspeth, we're going to leave up Wandering Emperor, right? Uh, ooh, full on Jund. So what is the correct play here? You can also just Elspeth and Minus, right? I think that's a strong consideration as well. What could this be? I mean, this could be a plethora of things, right? So, I think we're just gonna minus. I guess they could fire up the hive to get in there, right? So maybe that's an incentive not to minus. Uh, let's go white. And I think, I think we're just gonna attack, not activate the chariot. I think that's correct. See what our opponent does here. They take it. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, then I'm just going to hold. I'm just going to hold. We have access to Emperor next turn, right? I don't want to walk into a board wipe. This gives us the ability to end of turn Wandering Emperor minus. We get Elspeth plus. We have some options here. I just This is already a pretty threatening board state for our opponent. And I don't want to, like, open ourselves up, right? Jun has a ton of removal that they have access to. Um, so I think protecting the chariot is correct here. 
right? They could have been sitting on like a grasp or something like that. <clears throat> Meat hook for two. Uh, well, that's good enough to save something, honestly. So let's never mind. We got there. Nice. All right, we have a curve. So ooh, that doesn't work out too bad either. So yeah, I like it. I like it. I think we can make something happen to this one. Against uh, control, obviously. See, we have a nice curve out too, honestly. Uh, have all our colors, so things are looking good for us. Probably gonna go ahead and just get in there. I think we want to get restoration going for the potential ramp here. Yeah, let's go ahead and attack first. See what our opponent's got going on here. I don't think we're gonna they're simply gonna draw a card. Get this going. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to think if we avert Zariel next turn or Chariot. Interesting. Fair enough opponent. I think we're gonna go ahead and Zariel to all right fair opponent laying down the hate man laying down the hate let's go ahead and attack first because then we could potentially give our haste right i felt like that better we're gonna draw fair enough we're gonna go ahead and zero, just in case. They've got, you know, some shenanigans going on. We can make doubles of our devils next turn, but we're probably just gonna get in there for a ton here. Let's see if they drop the old. Hmm. I'm trying to think if it's worth playing around dry disruption or not, right? It's playing a tap land. I guess. Kind of does the same thing. Let's go ahead and play around it. I think this is safe. And then we'll just plus to get in there for a ton. Opponent's going to draw. So looking for a counter spell. Does not happen. So do we make another dude? Uh, I think we're just going to slow roll it and get in there. And boom goes the dynamite. Yes. <laughs> Well, friends, that is the deck. And, uh, yeah, I think this one is probably... I think this one's a 3 out of 5. And I would definitely make some adjustments, right? I think Incandescence could have been better, right? There's uh, a decent amount of tokens out there, right? Between the stuff, the devils that uh, Obnixilis makes, uh, the Samurai from Wandering Emperor, and then Asika's Cherry is still a very strong player, as well as the Rhino tokens that don't die to incandescent anyways so i think because of that reason uh i think you're better off just going for the more aggressive strategy i think it's fine as maybe a two of right um elspeth i definitely think should just be jet mirror and kind of capitalize on rabble rousing so we probably are going to finish uh modify this deck i do like lantern flare i think it was a decent ad adjustment um Zariel did well, Arlen did fine as well, uh, but I definitely think you could probably streamline this deck a little bit cleaner. Uh, but hey, that's what we try to do on this channel is kind of struggle so you get the answers you're looking for without burning the wild cards. So yeah, I, I don't think Incandescent, maybe later on when the meta shift shifts a little bit, but right now I think there's either the Angel deck can go bigger, right, a lot quicker, and then... Um, mono green it doesn't really a lot of the things in there don't doesn't die to it and uh yeah like i said there's a bunch of other tokens running around in this format as well that you got to take into consideration but that will do it guys so thank you so much for writing the struggle bus with me today i really appreciate you i hope you enjoyed the video and until next time as always happy gaming